What's going on guys, Flame Master Z here, and today I wanted to talk about the division. Now I know a lot of you guys like, wait, what is you talking about? Um, what happened to Jump Force and stuff? I would be talking about Jump Force, but unfortunately, Jump Force doesn't have any information. They haven't put the rematch system in the game, and because of that, it's actually very hard to make videos when you got to deal with uh, spam. But, like I said, this video is not about Jump Force, this video is not about anything else, this video is about... Division, well, Division 2, the um, beta. Now, the beta's over with. The beta was over with yesterday, I believe around 4 o'clock. I actually got to play the beta quite a bit. Uh, me and my twin actually met up in the beta, and we actually did the mission until we actually completed the beta to the point where it said, Thank you for playing. Now, I never have ever played Division at all. So, v Division 1, never played it. Didn't know what the game was about. Uh, the game basics and what it's about like when it said the world like basically ended or electricity everything went out people had to survive in the city all type of stuff i don't know exactly how it went but it was quite interesting the online gameplay actually was interesting as well and i actually had a lot of fun now if the game is good in or is it worse than the first one i can't tell you guys because i haven't played the first one is the game is bad no means by the game is bad. The only problem I had with the beta was sometimes I got disconnected and it kicked me from the server and I had to run back to the mission I was doing my twin or vice versa. He get kicked and he had to come back to me. But we gotta expect that from an open beta. Stuff like that happened. Now the options, you know, uh, your creative character, you couldn't do anything because of um, a beta. We get presets. The weapons and stuff was actually interesting, but there's one problem with this game was the difficulty. The difficulty of this game was insanely hard. I mean, even with just two of us, it was like difficult to just beat this one area. The enemies took a lot of damage, well not a lot of damage, took little to no damage. Some of them, the bosses had extra armor. You died pretty fast with um, your shield go out. And the guys with the knives just kill you in two or three hits. So. It was actually very, very difficult, and if I didn't have my twin here with me, I probably wouldn't even been able to beat most of this. Now, the weapons, um, the automatics and stuff seemed alright, but they was running out of ammo and wasn't doing that much damage, like I said. That was my only problem with me not being um, a player or somebody who actually played Division. This was a problem to me that the damage output was kind of low. But at the same time, like I said, it was fun. I like the free roam aspect that I can be doing a mission or in the city doing something and I could run into my twin or anybody like my friends or anything online and honestly that's a bonus to me and I, a good plus so it's like I make it this game and then I may not because I haven't seen much about it to actually want the game completely I need to see what the customization op uh, options was uh, what type of weapons it was in the game how the whole game aspect you know Everything I didn't get to see in the beta, what the beta didn't, uh, didn't offer, I wanted to see like gameplay of it. So when the game dropped, I may not have the game. I may have it. I can't honestly tell you guys. I got it. Maybe some of my friends may convince me to get the game. Maybe um, I'm not here to tell in a video like, okay, you may not get the game. Um, talk trash about the game or saying the game is good by any means necessary. But I'm just letting you guys know these are my thoughts on it. The game, to me, is a good game. I mean, in short, that's all I can really say about it right now. The beta was pretty fun. It was difficult. I like the fact it was difficult. I like the fact that I could actually been able to play online with somebody. Because most betas, you can't even do that. I like the fact that it had missions. Even after you completed the beta, you could still run around and do different missions. So, it was a lot of fun. One more thing i like to talk about before I end this video. I like the fact that the level up system was kind of unique like you can actually buy like special abilities like drones turrets um you unlock like weapons and stuff without having to find them by leveling up i honestly learned this stuff quite at the end of the beta because i wasn't really paying attention i was just shooting and surviving but like i said i was never played the division before i honestly wasn't interested in the game until i actually got to play it and get some hands-on experience with the game now all I can say is, if I can see more gameplay of this game and actually get into the game more or actually learn more about the story, it'll be 100% one in this game. Because 
I like RPG based games. I'm not too fun on shooting games or um, games like this, but playing with somebody else instead of just being single player, that's definitely a plus in my book. So that's all I wanted to say about this. Uh, I know you guys may want to see gameplay. If you guys want to see my gameplay of this, just let me know in the comment section. I will post it. Um, but most of you guys probably already seen all of this from people playing it online or not. If you guys want me to talk more or play more Jump Force, play anything else like Soul Calibur or anything, just let me know in the uh, comment section. So that's all for now. So bring the heat and stay smoke out to play Max Z. Peace. And actually get a good impression in this game. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later.